What's up, Sierra Marlins? Coach Robert Gray here with Victor Performance. We're gonna go over our week four, day one strength session. Okay, we're kind of transitioning a little bit. We're gonna to start to add in some tempo to some of these movements. You're gonna notice that the reps are dropping a little bit. So you guys are gonna to need to find some ways uh, to load some of these movements a little bit heavier. Okay, you're gonna get a supplemental video this week with some ideas uh, for ways to go about doing that, okay? All right, so to start today's training session, you guys are gonna go through mobility series one, ball series six, and shoulder series one. Again, those links will be found on your PDF, but you guys, if you've been doing the program up to this point, should at least be familiar with mobility one and the shoulder series, okay? All right, so our strength circuit today, we have four rounds. We'll take, you know, that 20 to 30 second uh, break between each exercise, okay? At the end of uh, a full round, you guys can take a little bit longer break before starting that next, that next round of exercises, okay? So our first movement today is a counter movement jump shrug. So um, we're gonna have some lightweight. I've got my half gallon uh, cartons of milk here, okay? Uh, these are about nine pounds total, four and a half pounds each, okay? Um, and our counter movement, you guys know this, is just going down and up, okay? So it's down and up in one motion. Reset. Okay, in the air, get that shrug through the shoulders. Okay, getting that good energy transfer from lower body to upper body. On your landing, make sure uh, you're landing in the balls of your feet and you're bending through your knees, hips, and ankles, okay? After that, we'll go into our single leg RDL plus a row. So we are doing these two movements separate in our previous three week phase. And now we're gonna combine the two. So you're gonna be on one leg. You'll need two weights. We're gonna do a single leg RDL, hinging down, getting our chest out over our foot. Then in this position, we're gonna row, making sure our shoulder blades retract, and then stand up. Okay? We're gonna complete seven reps on each leg. Make sure that you clearly separate the two movements, right? So it's RDL down, pause for a count, row, pause for a count, and then stand up. Once you've completed that, we're then into push-ups, okay? By this point, you guys should be really uh, comfortable with your push-up positioning, right? And now being able to find appropriate uh, progressions or regressions, making it harder or making it easier, um, to suit you for the sets and reps given, okay? We're now gonna add in some tempo to the execution or the performance of our push-up. So we have eight reps, but on the way down now, we're gonna ask you guys to take three seconds, okay? We'd like to also see you guys try to start driving out of that position with some intent, with a little bit of aggression, right? So it's really controlled down, kind of wind up, wind up, wind up, and then release all that tension at once as you drive out of the bottom. After you complete your eight reps, we're then gonna need a dumbbell or some type of weight that we can hold on to. I'm gonna use this tool bag, okay? Um, and we'll be laying on our back in a single leg glute bridge position. So I'm gonna have my left leg down, which means I'm holding on to the weight with my right hand, okay? From here, I'll drive my ribs down, make sure my back's flat before lifting my hips. And then I'm gonna be going through chest presses with a three second lowering on each rep, keeping my hips high during the set. Okay, so we'll do seven reps on each side, again with a three second lowering. Yes, this is a chest press, and it is an upper body strength exercise, but it is also uh, a core exercise, right? And we're learning to connect our lower body to our upper body through our torso. So really focus on finding tension there, okay, and owning that tension throughout the set. Once you guys are done with the single leg glute bridge plus a chest press, we're gonna move on to 
a, sing, or a, uh, a Copenhagen side plank. So this is a side plank uh, that's gonna kind of work the insides of our legs a little bit more than a traditional side plank. So we'll need a, a platform. I'm gonna use this bench, but really any chair around your house is gonna work for this. So if this is your first time ever doing this exercise, then you're gonna start with your knee completely bent and supported by the, by the chair or by the bench. Your bottom leg can be bent or straight. That's really just determined by the equipment you're using and uh, where that leg can be most comfortable, okay? From here, before lifting my bottom leg off the ground, I'm squeezing both sides of my glutes, pulling my abs in. Then I lift that bottom leg and I'm gonna hold for 20 seconds. Now, if you've done this before, and you feel like you're looking for a little bit more challenge, you can begin to straighten that top leg and scoot away from the chair all the way until your foot is the only thing supporting you. Okay? But more important than the position of that top leg is your ability to stay engaged through your abs and through your glutes. The final exercise that we're going to do for our circuit today it's called an RNT leg lowering. So this is a mobility drill. You're gonna need a band and some type of attachment point, okay? So I've looped the band around this upright, and from here, I'm gonna drive my ribs down, flatten my low back again, and then stretch the band, okay? I've got the band stretched, my arms are relatively straight, Okay, my abs are on, and now I'm going to bring my legs up. And from this position, I'm going to drop one as I exhale, inhale up. Okay, you have five reps on each leg there, moving uh, as controlled as you can really allowing your controlled breath to dictate that tempo. Once you've finished four rounds of that strength circuit, your guys' cool down today is open book, and then foam rolling your calves and your T-spine for a minute on each side for each exercise. Once you've completed the cool down, you guys are done with your strength training for today. Good work.